schedule later tonight in November. Snowfall is forecasted to hit the Twin Cities, but right now, calm outside, and of course, a calm day inside U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. The scene a short time ago, this crowd decked out in purple, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. We're ready for football, folks, as the Vikings get set to do battle with Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in Week 11 on EA Sports. the 35 a gain of 11 to kick off the drive and it's a quick first down first down Dallas so from the 36 now first and 10 Prescott now this to Charlie. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. At the 34-yard line. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Prescott. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Cowboys. Now the first carry for Ty Montgomery. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Yards on the pickup brings up second and two. Prescott from the gun. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's holding in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Cowboys have taken the early lead. The kick is good. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Vikings nothing. Greg Zerline. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Third. 
Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll throw from the gun. This one brought in by Jefferson. The 20, 10, touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, touchdown number 15 of the year. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this thing up. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that. And one play, 75 yards, in zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big-time play, big-time result. 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Second and 10 at the 20-yard line. He goes to Lamb again. This time he's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. How about the first quarter he's putting together out wide? Pretty impressive. I think that he likes his fact that we're playing this as a day game. You know, some guys, they respond better in the evenings. For some reason, it builds up. But this guy, day game, and he is off and running. You're exactly right. 100 might be conservative with the start that he's had here in the first he, quarter. Yeah, by the numbers, he's on pace for 200-plus right now. He was trying to clear the way of the big fullback. Instead, he gets a hole. And you don't see that very often on running plays from those guys because usually they're the lead blocker. Normally, when he gets caught, it's in a passing situation. Prescott to throw it. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 17 yards on the play there, and the Cowboys have a first down. First down, Cowboys. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's got it across the midfield stripe and into Viking territory. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. Brings up that play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Play action. Prescott. He'll find Lamb. That's complete. And he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just working the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw. Prescott. Able to hit his turn to win. Now he's stripped. He lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And we'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on his first drive. Instead, second down. It leads to second and 10 from the 33-yard line. To throw, Cousins. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. 
They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Rash on the tackle. That's a gain of three. It's third and seven. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. A first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Fourth down now after a loss of two. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler throw. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. So they recovered the fumble, but ultimately could not take advantage of the short field. Definitely a lost opportunity right there. I mean, they were in prime position to put six on the board. Ended up settling for three. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal, and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive, a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. From the 30 on second down, Prescott. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. A gain of I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. At the 46-yard line. Throwing on second and eight, Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by linebacker Eric Kendricks. And this will be returned to around the 38-yard line. Now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there, but it's going to be second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. He goes right back to Jefferson, and this one complete. 15 yards on the play, first down. First and 10 at the 23-yard line. A first down throw for Cousins. Letting one go deep for the end zone. Touchdown on the year. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. And he's got it up and through. Makes the score. Vikings 17. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Takes this about five yards deep. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Five-yard line. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any... And the ball caught down, and the Vikings pick up the football. They find some open field here. Recovered by the defense.
And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. They'll run with Cook. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. After one, 17-7 the score on EA Sports. Vikings 17, Cowboys 7. They try again with Cook. And he'll get him. Touchdown, Minnesota. Delvin Cook with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Vikings are going to add on to their lead. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. score, Vikings 24, Cowboys 7. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll <laughs> see what they do here this game. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. On first and ten, Prescott. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Three yards the game there, second down. Three All defenses game. worry that whenever three anyone seven, catches eight, the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Prescott with a free caught by Lamb. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Prescott yet again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at him. I try, all right? I don't know how good I am. Doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork that led to the incompletion. And it's third down. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And this will be out of bounds at the one here. The 12-yard line. At their own 12-yard line. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big-time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes it translates to your defense as well, because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense. This playing so well. And they are clicking right now. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. On the carry, it's Cook. Looking for an opening, not much there. He'll get it to the 39. A gain of three, second down. 
Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. It's a three on that kill. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 44-yard line. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. At the 44-yard line. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Complete, Jefferson the target. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 17 more yards. He had 17 on the previous snap as well. Vikings, first down. First and 10. At the on first and 10, Cousins. Setting up the screen for Cook. A good first down call as the screen play gets him not only. And this is a guy who last week not only helped his real team, but really helped a lot of fantasy teams. Three trips to pay dirt. They've got to contain him. And watching him play is like going to lunch with you when you order that combo plate, right? In this case, his combo plate is he can go over the top of you and catch it, catch it in front, turn it into a big game, run past you. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Randy Gregory. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. From the gun, here's Cousins. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. First and goal at the nine-yard line. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. On second down, Cook. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. He was His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. Cousins gives way to Cook. Yeah, yeah. And he will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Delvin Cook with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Vikings are going to run that advantage. Good. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And the route is on here in this first half. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. The rookie Jeff Gladney picks it, and they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Intercepted. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Dancing to his left. Catch is made. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. He got 29 yards that time. 
A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. Cousins now. And Simmons got it. Touchdown Vikings. Kirk Cousins with three touchdown passes now in the afternoon as his guys continue to pull it off. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball in the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Air catch made at the 25-yard line. The Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. He gets it left side to Johnson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 15 yards on the play, first down. First down, Cowboys. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. To throw is Prescott. And Prescott, his third interception. Picked up by Anthony Harris. That late in the clock, second quarter, why not just run it a time or two and get it into the locker room? What you're saying makes absolutely perfect sense. Run it and get out of there. But I'm just wondering if the pressure of today's NFL and the high-powered offenses that you're facing may have forced them into saying, let's try to get some more points. Buying time to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. He'll get three yards on the scramble there and second down. going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Second and seven operating from the 34. Well, this time they'll just keep this on the ground and he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brings up third and four. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Break Zerline to kick off for Dallas. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Taken about seven yards deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Starting the third quarter with Cook. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. This will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Cook following the penalty. First and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. The first run for the backup of Dual. Try! And he will score! Second touchdown on the season. And this offense continues to pour it on. 
And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Makes the score, Vikings 45. Cowboys. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible. And yeah, that'll be intercepted by the Pro Bowl safety Harrison Smith. And he's going to score. It's a freaking touchdown. This D wanted to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Cowboys take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball. He's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It all comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. deep in there, right? <laughs> and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Prescott. Over the middle, hold in by Lamb. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. To the air again, Prescott. Now they go screen, it's complete. Pass the 20. Rico Dowdle with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Cowboys claw one back. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right because you really need the rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means... Weaving through traffic, and now he's free! The 30! Touchdown, Minnesota. Talvin Cook with his third touchdown of the game, number 15 on the year. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. PAT would extend their lead, but there is a flag on the play, so they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. 
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This taken in about four yards deep. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And he'll drop here to throw. He'll fire deep downfield from Lamb. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Prescott now. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Johnson. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Dallas. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now they try the right side here. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. And he'll hit the slant route that's caught by Cooper. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. First down, Cowboys. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Prescott. They'll take a shot for the end zone. Incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 15 yards on the play, first down. A gain of 15. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? He's got this to his running back time on Gumbry. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard and it's second down. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit, able to hold on to the football. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. And again, it's Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 15-yard line. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, Prescott. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it. And it took the ball off corners. That's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Flush to his right. That is caught at the 7. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there.
Prescott on third and two. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys are able to make things a bit more respectable. His kick is and his good. kick is good. Makes the score Vikings 59, Cowboys 21. Greg Zerline to kick off for Dallas. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. <laughs> Taken in the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light there. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. That's how you pick up a first down. You know where the sticks are. You know where the first down marker is, and you find a way to get there. That's called having vision. He had a lot of vision last week, didn't he? NFC Offensive Player of the Week, he was dominant. This one brought in by Jefferson. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Now second and 11 from the 32. From the gun, it's a give to Cook. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On third down, Cousins. Open man is stealing his complete. with a gain of 28. First and 10 at the 38-yard line. First down, here's the run with Cook. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It was Jalen Smith who worked through to make that stop. So still 14 yards to go, second down. Oh, a design run for their wideout. And that one covered beautifully. Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Back at the 45-yard line. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Really in a hole here, third and 17, following the two negative plays. Working out of the gun, Cousins. To the right side, and complete to Jefferson. And he'll go down at the 28. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He made his first attempt, this from 45. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? And this carries into the end zone. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. 25-yard line. A 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down at the 29-yard line. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Prescott from the gun. You can't afford to make any kind of mistakes, but it's been pretty symptomatic what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, Same. down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Here's Madison running on first down. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Another carry now for Madison. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. He lost two there. And it's third down. Brings up third and ten. Cousins the throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Oftentimes when you're losing a game and the team's still throwing with this kind of a lead, you start playing a little more physically. And they took that opportunity right there to be extremely physical and force that incompletion. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the Cowboys will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and 10. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. First down, Prescott. Oh, that again? It's complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Prescott to throw. It's coming and down he goes. Rumbling in for the sack. That right now, that's a defeated team out there. I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten right from the word go. This guy with a throw caught by Lamb. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. The Vikings after him, and they get there for the sack. Sacks for him on the season. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. 
The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself. You still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. On first down, Abdullah. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 15 yards on the play, first down. With these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football off a triple option, you've actually called that play. The last two plays each lose a yard. They'll try to move forward here on third and 12. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Today's final score, Vikings. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. What are they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for Minnesota, they continue to put themselves in position for a first-round bye as they move to 8-2. and two. And they'll have another home date next week as the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for Dallas, it was a game they really needed as they dropped back to 4-6. and six. And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.